Hey guys, welcome back to episode number 19 of Buy Smart, Live Smart, Sell Smart. Patrick Kim here, and I'm going to dive a little bit back into what we talked about in episode number 18 of what is an escrow. So let me share a little bit what leads up to an escrow and what kind of happens during an escrow. I'm going to be approaching this from a buyer's perspective. Why? Because if you're a seller, it's pretty much smooth sailing. You just make your home available in the time frame that you agree to in the contract, and you just kind of let the buyer do their thing. So buyer, step one is to get a pre-approval. Pre-approval is when you go to your lender or your bank, you say, hey, these are my finances, my job history. How much can I afford? They give you a number, you just stay below that, and you're, you should be safe. With that number, the pre-approval letter, you go to your agent. You give your agent the criteria of the home you're looking for in the neighborhood, the size, all these different kinds of things, and they schedule showings. They coordinate it. You go to these showings, you uh, firsthand, you know, firsthand walk through the home, see if you can visualize yourself living there. Say you narrow it down to the one home that you absolutely love. You go to your agent and you say, hey, this is what I want. Um, this is the home I want. Let's make an offer on it. You guys will talk based on the market trends, based on how much activity it's getting because other buyers may be interested in it. And so you would obviously have to be the best offer. Um, let's just hypothetically say that you had the best offer, they accepted it, and boom. This is where we get into acceptance. This is the part where someone will say, we entered into escrow or we opened escrow. Um, the first few weeks are the craziest time, if you want to say it that way. Um, this is when all the inspections happen, depending if you're living in rural area or in urban area. Um, if you live in the country, you're going to want the septic inspection and the well inspection, all that kind of stuff. But typically, it's the home inspection, the pest inspection, and the roof inspection. Say everything came back super clean, there's nothing wrong with the house, it's a beautiful house. Then you just go on to the close of escrow, and it's smooth sailing. Say you get some items back in the reports that you know might need more attention and get fixed. This is when you and your agent will submit a request for repairs to the seller um, and say, hey, we want these fixed before we complete the purchase. This is where the seller can actually say yes and accept it, reject the entire thing, or pick and choose the things that he's okay with repairing. Um, and then after that, you make a decision if you want to move forward with it. If there is a loan involved in the escrow, there will be something called an appraisal. Um, if there's no loan involved and it's just all cash, then there's no appraisal. Um, and basically after that, it's smooth sailing. This is when the close of escrow approaches and the contract says, time's up. It's time to buy the house. Um, so you'll com complete that and uh, all the keys and garage openers and stuff like that will be left for you at the house. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this really, really helped to kind of give you a basic idea of what an escrow is and what happens in an escrow and what to expect. So I would love, love, love if you guys would like this, share, uh, follow my business page, comment below with any questions or just personal message me and I'd love to uh, walk you guys through in more detail. So in the meantime, guys, share knowledge, share network, and share compassion. See you guys next time.